Hello friend, welcome to Salesforce video. I'm Prajakta Bhur from Paragat Technology. In our previous video, we learned how to create a validation rule or we can say how to apply a validation rule. So today we are going to see how to create a lookup relationship and the master data relationship. So Salesforce provide three type of relationship. I believe uh, one to one relationship, one to many relationship and many to many relationship. So if you want to achieve one to one relationship between two objects, then you have to write some code or you have to go for the business logic or we can say you have to build your own logic to create a one-to-one -one relationship uh, some of the way is like you can create a roll up summary and write a trigger on that object so you will achieve or you can write also workflow so it will stop to creating a number of child of that master object so this is a one-to-one -one relationship and many to many relationship if you want to achieve then you have to go for the junction object create a third object and it will establish the relationship between the two object so that today we are going to see about the one to many relationship and in that we have lookup relationship and the master data relationship now today we are just going to see how to create that relationship so go to the objects and i have on the create section click on the object so I have created one custom object and the name is candidate. So I want this candidate object get link with the contact. Okay. So if you want to create a field, then under the custom field and the relationship, you can find the new button and click on it to create a field. So here you can see we have lookup relationship and the master detail relationship. Now the lookup relationship is a type of relationship which link two objects together. But there is no effect on the deletion or a security and in case of master detail relationship this is a parent child relationship where master object controls certain behavior of the detail object when a record of master object is get deleted its related detail record are also get deleted also you can create a roll up summary field on a master side that means if you want to create a roll up summary field make sure that two objects are linked together by the master detail relationship also one important thing of master detail relationship is that standard object cannot be on a detail side of a custom object okay now for this demo i will create a master detail relationship so it is just both process are same of lookup relationship also and the master detail relationship just for few point and click so i will say next and select the related to object for you want to relate it so i will select the contact because i want my candidate object should get link with the contact and say next so give the name to the field so yeah i will give the contact itself and say next okay so these all are the profile names so this will make visible my field on all the profile. If you want your field to be read only, then you can select the read only option also. Okay. So say next. One again next. And save. So we have created a master detail relationship between candidate and the contact. So here you can see our field label is contact as we have created a custom field that's why underscore underscore c get append to our field name and the data type of our field is master detail and it is the detail object of a master and the name is contact okay so this is very simple and if you want to check then go to the all tab button i have created a tab for my candidate object and i will open my candidate and here click on the new button and here I can create a record for the object. So here you can see the contact which will have the master detail object. So if I give the name like um, suppose my name Prajakta. Okay. And I will say yeah. And I will select the contact and say save. So I will fill the mandatory field and congrats. Our record is get created. The record is candidate and it's linked 
through the contact by the master detail relationship so it's very simple so one more important thing i like to mention here we also have the hierarchical relationship in one two um, many but the hierarchical relationship is a lookup relationship which is available only for the user object it associate one user with the another if you go to the user uh, you can see the user field if we search user and under the user section you can find the fields if you click on it and if you click on the new button to create a new field then you can find the hierarchical relationship under the user only so here you can see hierarchical relationship but this option or we can say this data type is not available in case of other object so this is one more important thing and the motto of the hierarchical relationship is that it will associate one user with the another so thank you for watching this video guys to know about us you can visit www.paragate.com okay thank you guys bye bye